Hi, my friends, Miss Jenny here. And this week, we're gonna continue talking about winter and snow. So the first thing I wanna show you are my five little snowmen. Do you see them? Let's count, okay, nice and loud together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. And what is this? That's right, the sun. And who knows what happens when the sun comes out? What happens to the snowmen? They melt. That's right, because the sun is hot and the snowmen are cold and they melt. So for you at home or in class, you're gonna hold up your fingers, hold up five fingers, and these are gonna be your snowmen, okay? Five little snowmen standing in a row, each with a hat and a big red bow. Out came the sun and it stayed all day, and one little snowman melted away. <gasps> Oh no, how many do we have now? One, two, three, four. So we hold up four fingers. Four little snowmen standing in a row, each with a hat and a big red bow. Out came the sun and it stayed all day, and one little snowman melted away. How many do we have now? One, two, three. So now you can hold up three fingers. Three little snowmen standing in a row, each with a hat and a big red bow. Out came the sun and it stayed all day, and one little snowman melted away. How many do we have now, my friends? One, two, that's right, so hold up two fingers. Two little snowmen standing in a row, each with a hat and a big red bow. Out came the sun and it stayed all day, and one little snowman melted away. Oh no, how many do we have now? Just one, that's right, so hold up one finger. One little snowman standing all alone. He had a hat and a big red bow. Out came the sun and it stayed all day. And that poor snowman melted away. <gasps> How many do we have now? None, zero, they're all gone, that's right. Now, what should we take away to make the snowmen come back? We need to take away the sun. And now the snowmen can come back. One, two, three, four, and five. There are snowmen. I am so happy they are back. All right, I have another snowman song, and this one is called the Itsy Bitsy Snowman. And do you see him right there in the middle with his mommy and daddy? Let's see what happens to the Itsy Bitsy Snowman. The Itsy Bitsy Snowman climbed up a snowy hill. He jumped on a sled and slid fast. What a thrill! He zipped past the children skating on the ice. Then the itsy bitsy snowman dodged a snowball fight. The itsy bitsy snowman went sledding into town, looking at the snowflakes gently falling down. Out came his friends to lend a happy hand. And everything was perfect in his winter wonderland. <gasps> wow. Thank goodness for his friends, right? Because they put him back together again. Nice helping friends. 
All right, and speaking about snowmen, I have another story I wanna share with you. This one is called, All You Need for a Snowman. Look how big that snowman is. Oh my goodness, that is a big snowman. One small snowflake fluttering down. That's all you need for a snowman. Two more snowflakes, three flakes, four, five, six, seven thousand, eight million more. Right? You need more than one snowflake to make a snowman. You need millions. Billions of snowflakes piled in a mound. Pat them and pack them and roll them around. Wow, they're making a big snowball into one big ball. And that's all. One big cold well rolled snowflake ball. That's all you need for a snowman. Is that all you need? No, except for a middle size ball and a small one. On top of that, you need a hat. That's right. A short flat hat or a tall one. Three hand packed triple stacked balls of snow hat on top where a hat should go. That's all you need for a snowman. Is there anything missing? I think there's a few things missing. Let's see. A couple of bottle caps, round and flat. Stick them under a snowman's hat. Surprise, snowman's eyes. That's all you need for a snowman's face. But I think we need something else, right? What's in the middle? An empty space. That's the place where carrot goes if a carrot is a snowman's nose. But what about clothes? Walnut buttons, five in a row, belt in the middle, boots below, big wool scarf, broom to hold, mittens in case his hands get cold, earmuffs, fanny pack, something to read. That's absolutely all you need for a snowman. What do you think? He looks pretty good. They put the buttons and the belt and a scarf and earmuffs. Uh-oh, look in the sky again. One small snowflake falling. Then, soft white snowflakes filling the sky, floating down everywhere, piling up high. What are they doing? Yes, they're making another snowman. And that's all you need for a snowman's friend. They made the, their snowman a friend. Now they have company. The end. I love that story. Very cool. All right, my friends. I had so much fun talking about snow and winter and snowmen with you. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.